what would we do without whites? I doubt very much there's a house in the country that doesn't have some variety of these. The problem is they're clogging the sewer system in Arvada. Those people are flushing those down the toilet. Steve Wyatt is the city's wastewater manager. He's at a lift station at 90th and Alkire where wastewater is pumped to a higher point in the system. Three big pumps, pipes, and all the equipment needed to do that is housed here. Today, with a bucket of tap water, he shows us why the wipes are such a concern. What I have in my hand now is just routine household toilet paper. When it's wet, it biodegrades easily, just as it should. It doesn't take long in the water for this toilet paper just to shred into a bunch of little pieces. But wipes, even the ones labeled flushable, are being used so often now that they're wreaking havoc underground. Here we have a typical baby wipe. After it's saturated, you can see that the material will not biodegrade. Even after being soaked in the water, this stuff will not tear apart. Here's what happens. They end up bunching up together, causing pumps to seize up. That's a very costly repair that we have to make. Depending on how quickly we're made aware of the problem and how quickly we can respond, uh, there is the likelihood that our sewer system will back up to the point to where it starts surcharging up service lines. And then they will start to experience this sewage, this water coming up in their basement or the lowest portion of their home. At the lift station at 73rd and Carr, they're trying something new. We put a temporary fix in there by using a basket screening mechanism to catch all the rags that come through. Since then, they haven't had a single pump failure. Prior to that, we were averaging one to two a week every single week at that lift station alone. So the message is clear. Don't put the wipes in the potty. Put them in the trash. For more information, contact the Wastewater Division at 720-898-7771.